In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly disassemble and maintain your G-Force GF1 shotgun. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the firearm is unloaded. We're gonna point it in a safe direction. We're gonna pull back the bolt and visibly check that the chamber is clear of any ammunition as well as the magazine tube. Now that we know it's clear, go ahead and put the bolt forward. I'm gonna disassemble by taking the magazine cap off. Four end off. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the barrel out of the receiver. Now, if you find your shotgun might be a little dirty, you can always go ahead and pull the bolt back and then give it a little tap and help it come apart just like that. We'll set the receiver aside. And then in your barrel assembly, you're gonna have the gas piston. We're gonna go ahead and take this gas piston out. Should slide right out. If it's a little dirty, it might require a little bit more effort. We'll go ahead and set that aside. Now, to undo the bolt and the operating rod assembly, to take that apart, we're gonna go ahead and push the bolt carry assembly down. And then we're gonna have a little key on the bolt. We're gonna go ahead and line that key notch up with the bolt handle and take it directly out by pulling outwards. Set that aside. And then gently let the operating rod and bolt assembly come forward. Now go ahead and take the bolt assembly off of the operating rod. and the recoil spring, operating spring, off of the magazine tube. Now our shotgun is fully disassembled. Critical maintenance areas for the gas piston system is of course the piston itself. Now we wanna use a good carbon cleaner, that's firearms approved, with light brush strokes to go ahead and clean that. Uh, if you find yourself having to scrape this, stop there. Go ahead and re-soak that with any carbon cleaner and it should come right off. As far as the bolt, we wanna make sure that we clean any carbon residue off of the bolt. Make sure it's clean and dry before we go ahead and re-oil it. We wanna use a light coat of firearms oil, such as a light spray oil or a needle bottle at critical points of contact. A good rule of thumb with oiling any moving firearm part is anywhere you see wear, go ahead and put a little dab of oil on it. With the operating rod, we wanna do the same thing. If you find yourself in need of taking this apart and cleaning it, it just pops off and slides right back in little notches. And the spring, go ahead and wipe that down to re-oil it as well as the magazine tube. Now reassembly is just simply reverse order of operations that we took it apart. Go ahead and put the recoil spring, operating spring back on. And then we'll go ahead and line up the bolt on the notch on the operating rod, so it slides back and forth, and you should see the locking block engage and disengage. It's important to leave the bolt assembly facing upward so it doesn't slide off. Go ahead and hold spring pressure with your left hand, and then we'll take the charging handle and line it up on that notch again and push inward. Sometimes it's a little tricky to line those up but you'll see there's a keyway right there. Slide it in until it clicks, and then let it go forward. We reinstall the gas piston into the piston holder until it clicks. In order to put the barrel assembly back on the receiver assembly, we'll go ahead and line up the piston on the magazine tube until it stops, and we'll go ahead and work the bolt down with thumb pressure until the entire assembly clicks into place go forward. And then to reinstall the handguard, we'll go ahead and slip it over the magazine tube. And it's important to note that we want the bottom edge of this to kind of click and place that holder so it's nice and flush and even. We'll take the magazine cap and thread it down all the way until it's nice and snug. And you know you've reached its limit if we can pull the barrel up and the barrel's nice and snug. We'll go ahead and perform a quick function check to make sure that we've put it all back together correctly. We'll hit the bolt hold open, look at the magazine well, push it down until it clicks. Bolt hold open to the rear. Go ahead and send the bolt forward. Push the safety on. Fire does not fire. Safety off, fires. The shotgun is fully back together and that is how you properly disassemble and maintain your GF1 shotgun.